What's up, party people? This is your boy Rich, and I'm back with some huge news today. The news we've been waiting for. Aurora Cannabis revenue grows 260% to $29.7 million in fiscal one. So, we gotta break it down, right? That's what we do here at Rich TV Live. Aurora Cannabis announces financial results for the first quarter of fiscal 2019. 260% revenue growth to $29.7 million. Pro forma revenue is up 333% to $35.8 million. Strong consumer rollout and continued production scale up. Mm, interesting. So these are the Q1 2019 financial and operational highlights. So the revenue has gone from 19 million in Q4 2018 to 29 million in Q1 2019, which is a 10 million, 10.5 million dollar increase. And from the beginning of 2018 until Q1 2018 to Q1 2019, that's the 260% increase. So they had 8 million in revenue in Q1 2018, and now they have 29 million in revenue in Q1 2019. That's the 260% increase right there. Now the cannabis revenue in Q4 2018 was 14 million, and in Q1 2019 was 24 million. Again, just under a $10 million increase. And a 236% increase from Q1 2018 to Q1 2019. And you can see their margin on the cannabis sales was 74% in Q4 2018 and 70% in Q1 2019. So it was down 4% there. So there's a little bit of a slight loss there. So that might have affected the market. Now, the general and administrative expenses here, this is what concerns me. Like, this number here, $35 million? Yeah, I don't know why this number is so high here. And in Q4 2018, it was $22 million. And then in Q1 2019, it's $35 million for general and administrative expenses. And then sales and marketing is another $29 million? Whoa. And it was 14 million in Q4 2018. So why such a huge jump in sales and marketing expense? 29 million in sales and marketing. Interesting. So the earnings overall in Q1 2019 are 104 million, which is a pretty substantial increase. An increase by is this right? An increase by 2,826%? Wow. That is staggering. They went from 3 million in Q1 2018 to 79 million in Q4 2018 to 104 million in Q1 2019. 2,826% increase in earnings. Whoa. Earnings attributed to common shares, 105 million. So I guess these earnings are based on shares. Operational results, cash cost of sales per gram of dried cannabis sold, $1.90 versus Q4 2018 was $1.87. So a 2% change there. Cash cost to produce per gram of dried cannabis sold, $1.45 versus $1.70, 15% change there. Active registered patients, this is the number that I like. The number grew from 43,000 in Q4 2018 to 67,000 in Q1 2019. So a 24,000 patient increase in one quarter. So that is substantial for me. So that is the number that I really take out of this. I really like this number. 
average net sales price of dried cannabis actually went up to $8.39 as opposed to $8.02 in Q4 2018. So that was an increase there. Average net selling price of cannabis ac extracts $12.12 versus $13.00. And 52 cents, so actual 10% loss there. So they have a 10% loss here in the quarter, and they have a 15% loss in the cash cost to produce per gram of dry cannabis sold. This could be some of the reasons why they didn't go up today. Kilograms produced 4,996 versus 2,212, a 126% increase and a 395% increase over the year. That's very substantial. And kilograms sold year over year is up 201%, 65% in the quarter. So there is substantial growth here based on these numbers. So based on my due diligence here, and I'm not going to get into all of this because I'll be here all day, okay? But based on what I'm seeing right now, I'm looking at some numbers that are growing. So these numbers are very promising to me. Now, yeah, there's going to be some things that are down here and there. But overall, these numbers are very, very substantial for me. We continue to successfully execute our differentiated and diversified strategy committed towards domestic and international expansion in the medical cannabis market, adult consumer use sales production scale up, innovation, plant and medical research and product development. The commencement of adult consumer use sales in Canada has been very successful for Aurora with strong performance across all product categories and brands. Terry Booth, CEO of Aurora. Our initial rollout success demonstrates how our high quality Aurora standard products and well positioned brands have resonated strongly with the consumer market and our preparedness for the logistical challenges in effectively bringing our products to market. Yes, it's a big, big undertaking to do what they're doing, but they are doing it successfully. Given the strong unmet consumer demand evident across Canada, we are confident that our rapidly increasing production capacity will result in continued acceleration of revenue growth. This is very interesting. Terry Booth also said, we also continue to perform well in our international medical business. With the acquisition of ICC Labs, which we expect to close in the coming weeks, we are establishing leadership in Latin America. In addition to ongoing international growth and expansion led by our team at Aurora Europe, we are also the first non-government organization to export medical cannabis to Poland, a medical market with a population roughly equal to Canada. Across our international activities, we have established significant early mover advantage and market leadership. With the scale-up of our domestic and international production facilities, we anticipate increased vis availability of product to service these developing markets, which will drive further global growth for our company. In Q1 2019, Glenn Ebot, CFO, added, We continue to propel Aurora's growth, making critical investments in our corporate sales and marketing talent and capabilities. Interesting. So that's where you spent all your millions. A significant portion of our Q1 2019 marketing spend was in preparation for the adult consumer use market with numerous branding and market awareness initiatives. With more restrictive marketing regulations in effect as of October 17th, we will see a significant reduction in average marketing spend over the remainder of the fiscal year. So they spent the okay, so they spent a huge amount of their money and resources, which I was showing you guys, the millions in advertising and marketing, because they had to, because there was going to be changes as of October 17th due to legalization. That makes sense. So that number should go down. We will see a significant reduction in average marketing spend over the remainder of the fiscal year. We also anticipate a reduction in other one-off expenditures, such as the integration costs related to Med Relief, Canamed, and Anandia acquisitions. Mr. Booth concluded, as a science, medical, and patient-focused organization, we are committed to continuing serving our patients with the products they require as we build our inventory levels in anticipation of the adult consumer use market, we prioritize product availability for our over 67,000 existing patients. With production ramping up, we anticipate once again proactive.
actively driving additional growth in this core medical segment, both domestically and internationally. Yes, I believe that uh, they are positioned to just explode, literally explode. So I'm not going to get into all of this stuff. You guys can go to Rich TV Live. And remember, you can get all the breaking news, stocks, cryptocurrencies. You want to join our secret stock picks group. It's free. It's a social media platform where you can be the star. It's true. And we are bringing the news every day, absolutely free. And we don't want your money. We want your eyes and ears on the prize every single day. Right? And we just put this new song out and it's fire. It's fire. So, you know, I got to play it. Haters look at me now. It's, it's, it's starting to get like visibility. It's crazy. I mean, it's out there. Like, it's out there, you know? So, you know, we'll look at this. And they're at $6.96 ACB on the New York Stock Exchange. With the tremendous growth, how high could it go? And it went down another 1.58% after market. So down 4.53% after these revenue projections and growth. And now they're down another 1.58% after market. What do you guys think? You guys see green coming? Remember, Risk TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here at Rich TV Live. If you're not winning, you're definitely not watching. We bring you all the winners and we bring them to you first. Remember, Warren Buffett, the best investor ever, thinks 20 years down the road. Will these stocks be winners in 5, 10, 20 years? Invest in the best. Buy in the red, sell in the green. Look at the winners that I've predicted over the last two years. We will continue to bring you the winners and we'll bring them to you first. It's true. I don't do this for the club. It's true. Hate stop bringing me down. Hate stop bringing me down. I know you love the sound. Baby, just look at me now. What? Talk of my shit. This a rocky shit. All right, guys. So, uh, what do you think? If you like this video, smash the like button. Comment down below. What do you think about this news? The biggest news of the day and the biggest stock, our numero uno, Aurora Cannabis. The, 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 the monster of the cannabis sector goes down. <laughs> Yo, if it's going to go down, that's just creating more buying opportunities. This is a great company. I love Aurora Cannabis. They are a beast. There's going to always be haters, right? But at the end of the day, numbers don't lie, but people do. Remember that. And this is going to be a huge winner. You can book it. If it goes down... I'm just going to buy me some more. I don't own any right now. If I buy more, I will. I just sold some last week in the green. I'm going to buy in the red and sell in the green, but we're going to watch. We've seen three red days in a row. I don't like to go against the streak, okay? So, I don't know, man. Do the due diligence, guys. But remember, remember, we can't beat the elite, okay? You can't beat the elite. So, don't try to beat them. Join them. So if there's a streak right now and you're shorting, then you're happy. But if you're longing right now, you're thinking, okay, let me wait. Let me wait. We're maybe losing the battle. But remember I said this before. We will win the war. Look at these numbers. Are they going up? Are the patient numbers going up? Yes. Are the revenues going up? Yes. Did they spend a lot of money on marketing and expenses? Yes. But they admitted they could only do that before because now, because of legalization, things have changed. So they can't spend that kind of money. They're not going to spend $29 million in sales and marketing and $35 million in general and administrative expenses. Because they can't. Because of legalization rules and standards. All right, guys. I'm out. What do you think? Holler at your boy. I'm out. Peace.